Hey guys, it's Emily from Song of the Lark here from Copenhagen, day 10 of the Minnesota Orchestra's Tour to Europe 2016. Um, I am in a hotel in Copenhagen, on the outskirts of Copenhagen. Uh, the musicians are probably packing up on the floors below me. Um, if not, maybe they're already gone. I don't even know. I haven't connected with any of them today. Actually, technically, I did connect with some of them today, but it was in the very early morning hours of today because there was a little bit of a gathering that went on um, in the hotel, bar, and lobby area last night that involved Tim Zavadil and some pizzas. Um, so it was, it was great, but I haven't connected with anyone since I woke up, let's put it that way. And, um, but I wanted to connect with you because you guys are amazing and I feel like you have supported this orchestra in such a tremendous, overwhelming way that, um, that you deserve to know every little detail of what's going on here. And um, I'm trying my best to um, get those to you from my perspective. Um, but it turns out that I can't write everything that I want to as quickly as I'd like to. And uh, so I'm going to be writing every spare minute that I have, but um, there are probably going to end up being some entries coming um, in very early September. I get back um, to the States on August 30th, um, stopping over in Reykjavik for a couple of days and uh, kind of going on a bit of a photo tour. Um, so I'm going to take some pictures and such um, that don't really have anything to do with the Minnesota Orchestra, but it was a really hard opportunity to pass up um, since I was going to Europe to cover that. So, so why not stay over two nights in Reykjavik? Um, so I'm going to be doing that, and um, I'm tremendously excited about it, but on the other hand, that means that some of my entries will probably be a little bit late. Um, and maybe that's a good thing, because uh, some of the amazing impressions um, and emotions and feelings will be better able to just kind of sit and, and boil and simmer a little bit and uh, be, be better for having some more time for me to think about them um, instead of just, like, collapsing on my keyboard and doing a keyboard smash and flailing about how amazing everything is. Um, I'm just looking at the camera now and I'm, I'm seeing the view must look kind of enticing, so I'm going to turn my chair around so you can see a little bit of it. Um, yeah, I'm on the 20th floor of 25 floors in this hotel and we are not in Copenhagen. Um, they're not in the central city of Copenhagen, I mean, and um, we're on a little bit of what seems to be like kind of a banking or business outskirts, and um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but I'm going to turn around myself and look and describe. Um, there's trains, public transportation, what? What's that? And uh, construction going on, um, and some amazing gorgeous fields and uh, just this incredibly blue sky. I wonder how many miles we're able to see here. Um, and then in the distance, it's so magical. I, that's the ocean. It's completely blowing my mind. And, um, you know, being from Minnesota, you're not used to that. Um, it's just incredibly incredible and so picturesque. And uh, so if if you were curious about what was going on back there, um, instead of looking at my face, which at this point in the tour, I don't blame you if you want to look at that view instead of my face, because there have been some hair issues, obviously, going on in this trip. But um, after day three, it was my experience that I stopped giving a crap about how I looked at all. And it was just like, get out, get going. You, you were on a in a good place if you um, got down to the hotel lobby in time to leave to catch your next flight. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so as I was saying, I, I wanted to make a video to thank everyone um, who was involved with this amazing, amazing experience, um, especially since I won't be able to get around to actually writing about it for at least a week. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but it's still, I still feel like there should be a video thanks done regardless of for what reason. Um, uh, first, I wanted to start thanking the donors that made this trip possible. Um, God, it, it, it's really hard to imagine a better use of funds than a tour, As and that sounds like 
a terribly unsmart or unwise thing to say, but there's something incredibly special about the bonding that goes on during an experience like this and the musical growth that can come out of an experience like this um, that you can't buy except through paying for a tour. <laughs> and um, and that's something that I really that really hit home for me this trip. Um, that you know, of course, I'd heard about it before, but to actually be present while it was happening and to witness it um, was something really incredible and special. So thank you to the donors who made this financially possible. Um, thank you to the incredibly hardworking staff at the Minnesota Orchestra that I got a little bit of a glimpse into um, what they all do to make this tour any tour a reality and um, if everyone knew exactly what they all did I think their minds would be completely blown and um, it's possible that we might not only be applauding the musicians at concerts we might demand to uh, drag the rest of the staff of the orchestra on stage and uh, have them have their bows too um, yeah they, they pulled together so much and uh, thought so quickly on their feet and um, just made everything run incredibly smoothly for all members um, of the official traveling party and also made life run a little bit smoother for me too even though I wasn't part of that party um, so they're good people and um, I'm deeply thankful that they were so welcoming to me and um, they were fine with this uh, random 27-year-old blogger just coming along and uh, kind of sticking her nose in their business, and they were good with it. And um, so I'm deeply, deeply thankful to them. Um, the board members who came along, um, special shout-out to Marianne. Um, you're freaking amazing and incredible, and it was such an honor and a privilege to be able to see you um, in Amsterdam. Um, the board has been doing a fabulous job, and I'm super grateful, and um, those words are just going to keep coming again and again and again. I'm super grateful. also want to give a shout-out to um, oh, Kevin Smith, obviously, CEO, um, Wonder Man, Superman, just um, someone that is a, should be a real role model for lots of people in this business, and um, he's not as well-known as he should be, and he should be celebrated just in a tremendous, tremendous way. Um, and I hope that he gets the recognition that he deserves um, from all the people that he deserves it from. But he's also the kind of person I feel who like doesn't really care one way or another as long as the work done is good. And uh, that's such a delightfully Minnesotan character trait that I admire very deeply. And um, so, you know, like just shout out to Kevin. Thank you so much for being so welcome. I mean, you were just you were so incredible just letting, you know, again, stick my nose into the orchestra's business through this tour. And uh, you were totally chill when you would find me backstage and um, not be like, who who let you back here? And you'd just be like, you know, like, hey, Emily, how's things? How are things going? And um, he's he's so fabulous. And OK, so I'll stop the fangirling now, the Kevin fangirling. Um, and then, of course, move on to the Osmo fangirling. Um, Osmo did an amazing job on this tour. Um, huge thanks to him. He also was incredibly welcoming and um, was fine with me hanging out at rehearsals. And um, that means the world to me um, that he would be so welcoming. Um, and also, of course, the shout out to the musicians of the Minnesota Orchestra, who they're this weird blend. I, I can confirm it now after being on tour with them. They're this weird blend of incredibly lovely people and also not humans. Um, the way that they were able to play um, so beautifully, so persuasively, um, with lots of roadblocks in their way, like not being able to have access to their instruments for days at a time, um, not having a chance to run through entire pieces in new concert halls. Um, you know, they just hit everything with just this incredible passion and panache that was so exciting and inspiring to see. Um, I mean, it was, it, yeah, it, I mean, I loved them before, I love them even more now, um, and I'm so, I keep saying this over and over, I am, I've never been prouder to be an American and to be a Minnesotan than I have been this past week, and seeing what they are able to do at the highest level at, in the greatest concert halls in the world, um, and 
yeah, I just it's it feels so special that that's where I'm from and that's the community that we're from. Um, there are, I think, a lot of things going on in the world right now, especially in American politics, um, especially with the presidential campaign. And there are things that have been said and ideas that have been advanced that feel in ways fundamentally offensive to the idea of what I believe it is to be an American. And so to, you know, there have been so many times when I have been, I've almost wanted to hide the fact that I'm American or, um, or you know, like put a, a caveat on it that I'm, I don't subscribe to those kinds of ideas that you are hearing coming out of America right now. And, um, but, you know, after this tour, um, it just has really invigorated um, my love of country, my love of community, my, my love of place. And um, it has just been something uniquely awe-inspiring and life-changing. Um, and of course, the last people that I have to thank, although I will probably rewatch this video and go, crap, I forgot someone incredibly important. Um, but the last people that I wanted to thank are, of course, you, because you made this tour possible. This tour would not have happened without you. Um, and I'm not just talking about your incredibly generous um, support of the tour of my coverage um, through GoFundMe, but just the fact that there's an orchestra here to tour at all is all because of you and your passion and your excitement and uh, your persistence, my God. Um, the fact that you're able to pull this organization back together um, is it's nothing short of a miracle and um, I know that those are cliched words at this point in the story but um, it's true you know it, it's true and um, I feel like there's one more thing that I want to say yeah there is so I I think there, there have been a lot of things that I've taken away from this tour like um, like, I love Amsterdam. That's been one of the things I've taken away. And um, and I'm really proud to be, I have Scandinavian blood in my veins. That's another thing I've taken away. Um, but the, the big overarching theme that I've come away with from this tour has been that we are all so much more powerful um, when we act together than when we try acting alone. And... Um, that sounds, again, cliched, but maybe it sounds cliched because it's so damn true. Um, you see, you saw that again and again during the course of this tour, um, you know, like backstage people helping the onstage people, um, you know, like the, the gorgeousness of the ensemble playing because everyone was listening so intensely to each other in new ways that they had to um, figure out on the go because, you know, they're, they're new concert halls, new places, everyone's exhausted. Um, you know, they're, they're working together and, um, you know, like there's never the sense with Osmo, like he's, you know, like a superstar conductor who is coming straight from God. There's always this feeling of collaboration with him and excitement. And, um, same with Pekka, the, our violin soloist, um, such, such tremendous Midwestern, maybe Scandinavian, um, an ethos there about collaboration and um, working together and um, and coming out of everything with a result that's so much huger and bigger and better than what any one of us could have done on our own. And that goes to, includes um, the coverage of this tour too, that you guys helped me be able to do it and do stuff in such a huge way um, that I would not have been able to do on my own. And um, so all of these threads um, of being connected and um, respecting each other and working together in a productive way and leaving ego at the door, um, those are all huge, huge things that um, really struck me in this tour. And, and, um, and of course, gratitude for what we have in Minnesota, being able to see it see other great cities of the world and then come back home and know that Minneapolis St. Paul is mine and yours and we're so tremendously lucky and you are going to be so excited to see them start their season up again in September 
as I will be. So let's all plan on buying a ton of tickets this season, um, donating whenever we can, any spare cash we have, throw it their way. They're doing such wonderful things. Um, and let's keep showing the world that, um, that a great symphony orchestra is kind of our thing. So, um, anyway, this video has gotten way longer than I anticipated it would be, but tired, rambly, what else can I say? So, um, thanks so much for listening, for watching, and, um, I will get those tour entries up as soon as possible, but I also am not going to slap up half-assed ones either. So, um, so just stay tuned and, um, know, know that the Minnesota Orchestra knocked it out of the ballpark this trip, and you should be incredibly proud of them, and they are incredibly proud of you. So, um, I'm going to see you guys in Minnesota in a few weeks, and until then, I will sign off from Copenhagen, and, um, yeah, happy tour, guys. It was great. <laughs>